What's up YouTubers? It's your boy Gabriel again. We're back for Wednesday video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I get my tone with the Les Paul, the pedal board, and the Fender Princeton. It's gonna be a good one. Nothing too complicated on the pedal board, no switches, nothing. Let's go. So as mentioned before, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my tone and how I achieve it with my current pedal board and the Les Paul. The amp region today is the Fender Princeton Reverb that I showed last week on Sunday's video. The volume is about 2.5, reverb around three, so let's check out the bass tone. Pretty basic, not that much character. So the first thing I always plug in is the Strymon Flint. Check it out. Without the Flint, with the flint. Strymon flint is always pressed on first, no matter what. Let's take a look at my second always on pedal. So next up, as an always on pedal for me, is the Way Huge Octopus Mark II. Mark ones are so freaking expensive because you know he'll use his one all the time. Uh, I've had the Way Huge Octopus for years, and whenever I build a pedal board, it's always on there. So for now, I turned off the Strymon flint so you can hear the Way Huge Octopus doing its thing, which for me is one repeat. Check it out. Once you add in the Strymon Flynn, the octopus delay sort of comes back a bit, but in my ear, it adds a little bit of girth to the sound, and that's why I like it. So here it is with the Strymon Flint. You can sort of hear it, but it's very, very subtle, and that's how I use the octopus. So we've taken a look at the two pedals that are always on for me, the Strymon Flint and the Way Huge Octopus. Next up, I wanna show you is the Keeley Katana. The Katana I've had for years, and I freaking love this thing. It's a pure clean boost and in my ear adds a bit of top end and a bit of clarity. So let's check it out. Here is the bass tone with no katana. Added the katana. For pure clean boost, this pedal's my go-to. Up next, let's take a look at the Syriatone Centura, AKA the Klon. Now we have the Centura Overdrive, the Klon. It's no secret what it does, light overdrive at its best. So here's the tone with no Klon. Added the Klon. That's the Klon and it's freaking amazing. So up next in the signal chain is the vintage Ibanez TS-10. I have owned TS-808s, TS-9s, and now the TS-10, which I find is much more smoother than all of them. And this one is mostly my lead tone. Whenever I need that high gain, or what I call high gain, this pedal goes on. So let's check it out. 
Here is a tone with nothing on. Add in the TS-10. That's a TS-10 and that's my lead tone. Next up, we have the Electro Harmonics Qtron and we all know what that does. Qtron, so much fun. Next up, we have the Boss OC3 Octave Pedal. Not one that I use every single day or every gig, but I add it in when I feel like it, just for some more fun and texture to the tone. So here is the tone with no octave. Add in the octave. And it's cool for just like just single line soloing. It doesn't do chords, but single line stuff, it works. That's the octave, I dig it. So last up, but certainly not least, is my most complicated pedal on my pedal board, and that is the Strymon Timeline. I use it for quote unquote my real delay, not just slap back like the octopus, but delays that are much longer than that. So here is no delay. Here is with delay. Add in the clon for some more fun. That's the timeline. All right guys, that's the video, me explaining to you guys how I use my pedal board in my rig with the pedals that I use, as well as the settings. Nothing complicated, no switcher needed, none of that kind of stuff, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want, leave in the comments below what's on your pedal board, and we can have like a tone discussion down there. So thank you all for watching, click like, subscribe, the usual, and I'll see you guys next time.